All right, uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, um, for giving us the understanding of these holy scriptures. Um, somebody recently, uh, I want to say a week ago or so, requested that I do a, uh, a breakdown of, um, of Ezekiel, the 16th chapter. I mean, it's lucky and not Ezekiel. I mean, uh, Luke, the uh, 16th chapter. Um, not in its entirety. Basically, they wanted to know about them. You know, Lazarus and the rich man. Uh, so that's what we're going to do uh, here in this uh, in this video. And yes, the uh, background uh, picture you are looking at here actually is a hint. All right, it's a little hint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read the part that we need to focus on. And then I'll break it down, but I'll read it first just so we understand. Okay, so uh, let's see. Luke chapter 16 and verse 19 it says, There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desired to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came in like the sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lift up his eyes and being in torments. And see if Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime perceived good, thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And besides all this between us and you, there is a bigger, a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from thence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from, the, from thence. And he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that I would have sent me, send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them. These they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they would repent. And he said unto them, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither would they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Um, so that's pretty much the entire, you know, what we're dealing with here is that. So let's go on to break down the first verse, which is in verse 19 here, uh, Luke chapter 16 and verse 19. It says, There were certain rich men which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously, which basically means a great indulgence in something every day now remember that what color is this rich man clothed in remember that because we're going to come back to it bear with me just a second okay uh Remember what I said, remember the uh, what color that rich man was in. This is Revelation chapter 17 and verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. But the point of the matter is it says that that rich man was clothed in and purple and uh in scarlet matter of fact let's even go back to uh luke we'll go back to it again and we'll read the verse one more time anyway luke chapter 16 verse 19 and there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day so that's one now we know that the rich man is referring to um to babylon 
and um, Lazarus is referring to um to uh, to the Israelites, okay, the Israelites, as in you know so-called blacks and Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know specifically here in America, you know or otherwise known as you know Jake as we call them, or the real Israelites of the Bible. That's who uh, Lazarus is. Okay. Um, let's read on. 21. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked the sores. Um, what's that talking about? That's talking about, remember that, what is that, Haggai 1 and 6. See, that earns wages, earns wages to put in a bag full of holes. Okay, so, you know, you can't get ahead in this society. Okay, and, and matter of fact, if you try to get a loan right from them to try to help you out, it's not really a loan because it's just putting you further in debt. You know, because say, for example, if I want to borrow a thousand dollars, I got to give them fourteen hundred dollars back. And even that's an understatement. All right. So, um, pretty much that proves the point there. That if we jump down, um, 23 and in hell he lit up his eyes being in torment seeing Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom and he cried and said father Abraham have mercy on me send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in his flame that's talking about guys will use that and say that's hell that's not true first of all this is a parable as in this is not an actual literal story that happened in history this is just a um a, a parable, an analogy, okay? First of all, according to the holy text, when a person dies, they go to um, what Christians call uh, purgatory or what we call the spiritual world. So how could they die and go to hell and one go to, to Abraham's bosom if uh, the scriptures say that both go to the same place after death in the book of Job, the third chapter? It don't make any sense because it's not talking about that. Um... That's talking about um, in the kingdom when the Edomites, you know, aka the uh, you know so-called white people, are you know in servitude to uh, you know the Israelites. You know they're going to be catching hell. They're going to get the uh, what they call the um, the short end of the stick. Okay, and then it's going to turn around. Okay, we're going to get good things, and he's going to get bad things. The scriptures say the curses that were upon thee they shall turn unto your enemy. Right, so our curses. The curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, are going to turn on to our enemies, and they're going to have to suffer. Okay, that's what it's uh, pretty much talking about here. Okay, um, verse 25, And Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime received thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Right, so, you know, the rich man, which represents, you know, E, we'll say E, you just gotta watch what you say, because I'll take your video down, or it represents the E's, okay, and the, um, you know, the, the poor man, Lazarus, who, uh, who died, is now receiving good things, which is who, the Israelites, now receiving rulership over E, okay, in the kingdom. Okay, so, uh, that's um the breakdown of um of Ezekiel. I mean not Ezekiel, I mean Luke the uh sixteenth chapter. Okay, that is the breakdown of Luke the sixteenth chapter. As in, you know, Lazarus and the rich man. Um if anyone has any further comments you can comment down below. But anyway I'm going to say shalom.